Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the Canary channel, which is the build 25330. This is the latest build that was released a few hours ago at the same time with the newest dev channel build. As always, in these videos, we talk about what is new, what has changed, and also what is fixed. And of course, I have to remind you that the Canary channel builds are builds that have a limited documentation from Microsoft, and we could sooner rather than later encounter some builds that don't have any documentation documentation at all. So I'm going to try my best to figure out what has changed and what is new in order to provide these videos for you. If you enjoy these videos, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, what you need to note is that this build will not be offered to Windows Insiders with ARM64 devices. Now, first of all, in this build, pressing the print screen key will now open snipping tool by default. The setting can be turned off via settings, accessibility, and then keyboard. If you have previously modified the setting yourself, your preference will be preserved. So you have the setting right here. Use the print screen key to open snipping tool. You can turn it on or off. Also, the settings page for wheel devices, such as the Surface Dial, has been updated to better match the Windows 11 design principles. Also, regarding Windows Sandbox, if you have changed your primary mouse button under settings, Bluetooth and devices and mouse, Windows Sandbox will now follow that setting. Also, Microsoft updated the remote desktop connection setup window, mstsc.exe so that it now follows the text scaling settings under settings, accessibility, and text size. In some cases where the text scaling is very large, it will show a scroll bar. Also regarding BitLocker, when encrypting a drive using BitLocker, you can now minimize the encryption progress dialog. Also another new change is that you can now uninstall the camera app if you need to. And also as stated by Phantom Ocean 3 on Twitter, we have some progress related to the home section of the new file explorer experience that Microsoft is working on and also related to the new gallery section in the file explorer. These are some features that are very unreliable, very unstable. So I don't recommend you enable them, but of course it is possible to enable them. But as you can see, we are at a very early stage. So I think the best decision is to wait out until Microsoft releases some more stable versions of these sections. And also related to the newest Canary and Dev Channel builds, we are receiving a new Microsoft Store update. And this is the version 22303-1401. And you'll be able to encounter the following in this latest Microsoft Store update. You'll be able to install free apps and games from search results. Basically, Microsoft introduced a new way to install free apps and games. Hovering over a free product on the search results page opens a new expanded card experience where you can find a convenient install button. This will trigger the installation without having to navigate into the product page. Also, new design when purchasing apps and games in the store. The purchase dialog styles align better with Windows 11 to bring you a more pleasant checkout experience. Also, we have a new UX for in app rating dialogues. Microsoft updated the in-app ratings experiences to be faster, more reliable, and to better align with the Windows 11 styling. So this is all there is to it in this newest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the Canary channel. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a comment below stating your opinion on the Windows 11 development. And of course, don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.